On February 25, 1942, 100,000 people witnessed something in the skies over Los Angeles. Over 1,400 anti-aircraft rounds were fired by the military, to no effect. America is at war. Suddenly, a strange craft appears over the beaches at Santa Monica Bay. Anti-aircraft guns went into action against unidentified aircraft in the Los Angeles area. Searchlights closely followed the object down the coast and kept it centered in their glare. The shooting lasted for about half an hour, killed a couple of people. But the big thing is, and they didn't knock a piece off of whatever it was that was up there. Shells frequently could be seen bursting near the object, but none appeared to hit it. When it comes to the Battle of Los Angeles, people think, oh, it's all hoopla, it's all hype, it's all newspaper stuff. Absolutely not. There are eyewitnesses. When we first saw it, the object was hanging motionless, almost directly overhead. In other words, it appeared when I first stepped out the door and looked up, it seemed to be hovering. How do you protect the fact that this was a craft that our top air defenses couldn't stop? Well, that's easy. You call it a balloon. It's hard to imagine that we couldn't have shot a balloon down. And that was probably the first huge headline-making coverage of a strange object. There are indications that just in the United States that the U.S. military has counted as many as 4,000 trace landings of extraterrestrial craft. These objects have been seen in recorded history. There's no question that we're being visited by something we don't understand. The number of sightings per month has gone up, and it involves technology that goes beyond what we've got. I do know that aircraft have been scrambled against these objects many, many times all over the world without success. One of the great questions people have asked me over and over again is, why are they here? A question that continues to be asked, like in the upcoming film, Battle Los Angeles. I think some of them may have interest in resources on our planet. Uh, certainly, that's a very viable scenario, that civilizations from other worlds, which lack certain elements or resources or minerals or water, might come here to take that. They're going to take over. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. They just want us out. I think they are very definitely capable of doing a lot of damage, and I don't think we're prepared.